Geothermal detectives uncover the cause of Yellowstone's massive eruption. The Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone National Park's Biscuit Basin erupted a year ago last week, sending debris 400 feet into the air. Visitors are scattered as mud, rock, and hot water raining down from the sky. Large sections of the boardwalks were destroyed, and the area has been closed ever since. There were a lot of questions about what happened after the large hydrothermal explosion, said Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. And, there were some indications that probably the pool was still very active. But active in any way, was the question and scientists have spent the past year trying to find out. The area is just two miles north of Old Faithful, and includes beloved visitor attractions like the Sapphire Pool. The park needs to understand what happened before it can be reconstructed or allow visitors to return, and Poland and other researchers were not sure if it was an isolated event or something greater. Hazards associated with hydrothermal events cannot be understated, wrote Poland in his weekly newsletter Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles. The July 2024 event at Biscuit Basin expelled boulders large enough to smash through boardwalks as visitors ran for safety. Since the eruption, a series of events kept popping up in the area that indicated there was likely more instability, but none were conclusive on their own. Trail cams would catch that some rocks had moved, the shoreline was wetter, the water was agitated, Poland said. In some instances, unknown events, quote, toppled small seismometers, buried temperature sensors in mud, and in one case washed a temperature sensor down into the Firehole River, Poland wrote. The pool's temperature readings would spike at various times, and then there were two different eyewitness accounts, not always the most reliable source for geologists, that claimed to have seen parts of small eruptions too. All of this together, Poland wrote, suggested that something was going on, italics. 
Due to the mysterious nature of the events, Poland wrote that he and his colleagues started to call their Sasquatch sightings. The team installed a webcam video recorder in May in an attempt to confirm what exactly was going on in Biscuit Basin. Two weeks later, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory finally recorded video of its Sasquatch. In the footage, the Black Diamond Pool sends off a 30-foot-high eruption of steam and debris into the air for a four-second period. Since that first video, they've now caught three or four more eruptions. That's allowed us, because we're also recording other datasets at the same time, to associate everything," Poland said. Now we know what these temperature fluctuations are associated with. We know what they mean because we now have a visual record of the activity. As the video correlates to other evidence that the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory recorded from its other nearby equipment, such as sound recorders and temperature gauges, they can confirm the full spectrum of activity since last July's eruption.